Oh, guys. I'm Sarah, and this is Travis. We've moved seven times in the last six years and are currently renovating our third house with our three boys and our old English sheepdog. Follow along as we renovate our house and raise our boys. That's him. Subscribe and join us on our next adventure. We have been working on this project and it has gotten out of hand. First of all, we have been working on yes, this Yes, we. I started it. Okay, three years ago. Yeah, no, not three. <laughs> yeah, it's been over three years. Has it really? That. Yeah. I will never do another project like this again. This one, I hated, hated, hated. Yeah, it's been terrible. Well, we, and we thought when we bought this, I don't know, let me just get the video. It's a table. Cat's out of the bag. So we thought when we, first of all, we got this off of a Craigslist type thing for like $30. And we thought that these table legs are so pretty, but they are actually the worst because we don't really know how to sand the little crevices and everything. So we're just calling it good enough and we're gonna stain this, this. So this table, right now it's sanded, but it came to us like orange peeling. It was so brutal to sand this. I'm thinking I'm thinking it would have been just like a couple hours with a power sander. No, this this as soon as you started sanding it would just sander. gum up with all the clear coat on it. So yeah. this is so much sanding and we basically ruined it. We sanded way too far down on some of it. <laughs> so this was like a fail all the way around. But yeah. we're just hoping right now that we can stain it and we can Make it look good enough. And let the record show that a year ago I gave up on it and said, let's just chuck it or paint it. And Sarah kept on sanding and she finished it. She did all the yeah. hard stuff, all the detailed stuff Sarah did by herself. Yeah. So if this stain doesn't work out though, I think we are just going to paint it and sell it because I don't want a painted table. But um, we, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So. Yeah. Don't ever do a detailed table. <laughs> unless, unless you, you know have better equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see over here we sanded too deep in a few spots. And like right there. So we don't really know how that's gonna look once we get this stain on it. But we don't really care at this and point. It's been honestly. in our way. It's been in our way for <laughs> years. Yeah, this was this was terrible, terrible. So idea. it seemed like a super good bargain at thirty dollars, but it was not worth it. <laughs> It's all sanded except for um, we're gonna. I'm gonna sand the top of this in like a real fine grit, real fast, just real, real fast. So and if you're, it is what it is. If you're like me and you have no idea what you're doing, I sanded all this and then last night I went out and bought the stain and was ready to apply it. And then Travis came out and was like, "Wait, you have to do a finer thing." Like what's yeah, it like, like we were sanding it with 80 yeah. grit to work down, and then you got to go to like a 200 or maybe a 400 or maybe even more i don't even know but just to give it a there. smooth a smooth finish so we're going to be sanding this with 320 because that's what we have and calling it good that's yeah. it we're i'm done saying. here we go <laughs> and i keep telling sarah we got to go dark so we can hide some of the stuff but we're not please <laughs> everyone knows that dark is not in style right now so real quick i'm not sure i've never used this before but it's called um well, it's, it's Minwax Wood Finish Solid Color Stain. So the guy at Lowe's sold me on this. I was just gonna grab a regular stain, but this is one that they like mix up like paint. They add the color to it. Um, and it goes on a little bit thicker than regular stain does. And I was thinking that that would be good for the parts where we sand it too deep. So we'll see. We'll tell you if this is a good product. It may be a good product and we just have a crappy table or it may be a crappy table and a crappy product. We'll let you know. Alright, let's get this over with. I do. So as you can see, we ended up bringing this in here because when we went to do the conditioner, it says to not do, to not apply this in under, um, not to apply this in. Okay, just set it down, honey. Because when we went to, Action. because when we went to do the conditioner step, it says to not apply it in lower than 55 degree temperature, and it's really cold outside. 
So now we're inside and we're gonna apply the conditioner and we're gonna stain this off. There's some weird splotches on this. Yeah. Even before we stain. Oh, this is like brown. No. <laughs> it's like brown brown. Well, it'll cover the spots, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> it'll cover the spots and not be what you want and not match anything. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is thick. I know, he said it was thick and I think it goes on thick and then you wipe it off. This is a weird stain. I know. Those yeah. guys don't know Jack. I can't believe you let him talk to you. I don't know. He said he'd used it before. No, I can't. I can't deal with the pressure when someone recommends me something. I can't say no. They should just wipe off that. So as you can see, this stain is going on like way thicker than regular stain. But that's part of this. Basically, this... <laughs> It's exhibit A as to why I should not be the one to go to, to go to Home Depot by myself. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we're just going to keep on going and see how this looks. You stirred that, right? Mm -hmm. Are you done? Leave your gloves on. Oh, I just have to fix them. I can wipe that off for me. Okay, I just get a dry rag. Yep. And you think it's ready? Yeah. Start with this one. Yeah. Not wiping off? Mm, it's like a stripe, not wiping off. It's really not wiping off. This part's wiping off like too much. I might always struggle with even normal stain, let alone this weird crap. <laughs> Remember when I was like, start with this side? I think you meant this side. <laughs> you ready to throw this away yet? The table or this stain? The table. This stain actually looks really pretty on this edge here. Look at this guy. I think the trick is you just gotta wipe it off faster. I have some mineral spirits in the garage. If we could just thin this area right here. Yeah, we're gonna have to. this really dark part and then reapply it? I don't know. Maybe. Let's try this half the table wiping it off immediately. You put it on, I'll come through and wipe it off and see if that helps. Ready? Yep. Yeah. There we go. See, see this looks terrible. <laughs> I hate this stuff. Are you doing it on purpose? Me? <laughs> this is not working, we just need to paint it. Alright guys, I don't think words are even necessary right now, but this did not go very well. Travis hates it, but I'm still trying to figure out if there's some way I can like sand part of it and make it look a little rustic or if it's just done for. Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know what I decided to do with this table. So I found a product called Wood Lookin', and that's what I'm gonna try. Basically, you paint over the table with white, and then you go over the table with this paint stuff that makes it look like wood. So I think that I'll like that better rather than just painting it like a solid color because I'm really hoping to get a wood look. So our first product didn't go so well. I'm still not sure if that was user error or what, but I'm gonna try this product. I have it on order right now and it will be shipped to us, I think, in the next couple days. So I'll get that on there and let you guys know how it goes. And we'll see you next week.